All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Optiplex 755. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is there's this latch on the top here. So you're gonna basically pull this latch back. And when you do that, this cover should pop forward, all right? And then you can lift it and take it out. So right now I'm working with a broken right clavicle, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to show everything. I have to mostly use my left hand to do everything. Um, I am left-handed, so it's not too bad, but we'll see. Anyways, this model is really old, so I don't know how many people are going to actually use this video. But anyways, there's this little blue pull tab here. When you pull this up, you can slide these out. Let me try and move my right arm over. Okay, it's kind of painful, but pull this latch up. Then you can slide the CD drive back, all right? Once you slide it back, you can actually lift it up. All right, just like this. I'm gonna just move it out of the way like that. All right, we're gonna be actually removing or replacing the power supply on here. So we're gonna remove the floppy drive as well. Same thing, pull this blue latch back and then we're gonna slide this backwards. Once you slide it back, you can lift this up and pull this out as well, all right? It's easier to do this when you have both hands fully functional but my right clavicle, since it's broken, makes it so I can't really move my shoulder very well. So anyways, we're gonna lift this out, if I can. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna lift this out, and we're gonna also move this to the side. If you want, you can disconnect these cables. This cable's held in. This There's this brown um, little latch here. You kind of pull it up, and then it'll release this cable. I don't wanna take that out, because my, since my right arm won't work very well, it's going to be very difficult to put that back. So we're going to leave that over like that. Oh, let's take the CD drive out. Since we're going to have to replace the power supply, I'm going to pull the power connector from the CD drive here. Probably will be easier with my left hand. All right, so I'm going to hold this like that, and we're just going to pull that connector out. All right. And I'm going to put the CD drive over here for now. Okay, we're going to also... Let's see. I'm going to use my other hand to help move my... Ow. Okay. Then we got to remove the hard drive here. Okay. So the hard drive here is held in with these as well. So there's these blue latches here. And to release it, you have to squeeze this. Okay. So you squeeze these two. And then you can pull this up and it swings up like this. Okay. You want to be careful lifting this out. We're going to have to guide these wires out from this latch here by sliding it over to the other side. All right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. All right, just slide it out that way. And then we're going to disconnect this cable because this is the power connector. And we'll take that out. If you want, you can replace this with a SATA uh, SSD. Um, this is the data cable, all right? So when you take this out, there's this little plastic latch here. I'm going to lift that out. And there's also a fan connector on the bottom there, all right? So you want to be careful. That fan connector is right there. I'm just going to move the hard drive over to the side a bit. And we're going to, let's see, should I take this out completely? Um, it'll be kind of difficult to put back. So I'm going to try and avoid taking all of these pieces out if I can. And we're going to disconnect the power connector here. So this is the motherboard power connector. So we're going to squeeze this clip here. There's a clip on the front of that. So you want to squeeze that. And then while you're squeezing that, you can kind of wiggle this and pull it up. There we go. Just like that. All right. So now that I got that disconnected, I'm going to put this back over here. Okay. We got one more connector that's under here. So I'm gonna disconnect the CD drive for now. So let's pull this connector so I can set that aside. All right. And we're gonna disconnect the power cable here for the motherboard. Um, this is the CPU power connector, all right. So same thing, there's a little clip on the front here. If you can, I don't know if you can see it, my thumb's in the way. So the clip is right there. There you can see it. Hopefully you can see it right there. So we're gonna squeeze that clip and then we're gonna wiggle this and pull this out just like that. Here you have this four pin connector. So it's routed through this hole here. So we're gonna unroute that, pull that through. Okay. 
All right, and then we'll unroute it from down there. All right, hopefully you guys can like, subscribe, comment, share this channel with others so that they can also work on their computers. I'm torturing myself trying to show you guys this with my broke, well, I have a broken clavicle. But anyways, get this wire all out from there. It's a little bit trapped because of the um, zip tie on this and then the motherboard is kind of too close to the thing, but try and get it out. All right, just like that. Okay, so we got that out. There's three screws on the, oops, on the back here. I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm just gonna do that, but hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about because I don't wanna damage this stuff here. Okay, so we're gonna use a PH2 or JS2 screwdriver, and we're gonna remove the three screws on the back here, all right? There's only three screws. And I only have one hand that I can do this with, so hopefully I can do this with one hand. All right. So remove those three screws. One. Right. So oh, that's weird to do it at this angle. I'm gonna have to hang this off the edge of my desk right now. Okay. But I mean, you get the point. Three screws. Okay. Once I get it started, I can push it back over. Okay. There we go. Second screw. Okay. Kind of trying to use my other hand. Like as a T-Rex, I can't move my elbow out, but it helps me hold the screwdriver in place. All right, there we go. All right, so we got those three screws out. Hopefully this is the issue with the computer. All right, so now that we got those three screws out, let's try and... Oh, this cable is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to unplug the blue uh, hard drive cable here. Kind of just want to grab the black plastic part of it and kind of pull it straight up. Might have to wiggle it a little. There we go. That way I can kind of get the hard drive out of the way a little bit. There we go. I'm going to maneuver that out of the way. This cable is a little bit in the way, but it's not too bad. Um, oh, they did tie this on here. If you want to save this piece, what you do is you just slide these little um, these little ball thingies down and then you can move it towards the larger hole area and then you can go ahead and slide this through just like that. All right, so now we can get this connector out as well. All right, I have to be careful not to damage any of these. These connectors are also old if they break. I don't know if I can get replacements. There we go, we got that connector out. Now we're gonna slide this over to the left. Now that we've slid it over to the left, we should be able to lift this out. All right, just like that, there we go. No problem. We will get the replacement one. Jeez, why does the replacement feel heavier? Okay, let's see, the replacement one, uh, H275P-01. This is, let's see here. So the model number they give, give here is L275E-01. This replacement one is H275P-01. So I don't know if it's more heavy duty or what. Um, it seems to have the same connection, so we should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and lift this up. We're gonna get this new one in. Slide it, make sure it's slid over to the left. Once you do that, I'm gonna use my T-Rex arm over here. All right, kinda of make sure get it lined back up like the other one. All right, and then slide it over to the right. Make sure that if you try and lift this side up, it's locked into place, all right? If you try and pull it up, now it's locked into place. Now we're gonna put the three screws back in. Let's see if I can use my right arm for this. I probably don't wanna twist with it too much, but can use my fingers to do that. All right, no big deal. Okay, I can't, I can't tighten it with my right arm, so I'll switch to my left. There we go. All right, get that screw in as well. All right, and we'll get the last screw in, just like that. Okay, now that we got all those screws in, let's go ahead and 
plug back in the power cable for here. All right, we're gonna have to, again, tuck it underneath this cable. Be very careful not to damage them. There we go. All right, so we're gonna get this lined up and click that into place. There we go. Make sure that it did click all the way down and it's flush. All right, we got these two or three other cables we need to connect. All right, so the four pin cable, same thing. You don't technically need to tuck it all back down there, but if you want, you can. Or if you can, you can. <laughs> but you don't need to. It's not, not really important. Okay. We're gonna wrap this back underneath this area like before. Okay, come on, get in there. It's a little tricky to fish it back out from under there. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, don't forget to route it into this little hook there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that tucked in. Just like that. Get that cable through. All right, and then let's go ahead and plug this back in. The clip faces um, towards the RAM, okay? So when you put that back, make sure you have it facing the same way. All right, get that in. Click that into place, good. All right, just getting it back in the little hooks. Again, it's not too important that you get this thing all routed. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner inside. Okay, there we go. If you want, um, you can try and get this not to block the fan intake. Okay, so that way it doesn't get all the dust all over that wire. That would help a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is put the hard drive back. I'm going to rotate this back over. Okay. Get this blue cable. Clip that back into place. Okay. This is the data cable for the SATA hard drive. It's a little bit tricky because there's all these wires in the way, but you got this. Okay. There we go. I use my fingers on both sides of this um, power cable to make it easier to reach. Let's rotate this. Okay. So I got that. Make sure these clips line up again. All right. Let's go ahead and get the power cable first. Is it going to reach? All right. Get that lined up. Okay. Let's plug this power cable back in. This power cable might be a little bit shorter than the other power supply we had in here, so we'll see what we can do, but get that lined up. Come on. All right, and click that into place. All right, I'm gonna drop this in. Make sure these latches are lined back up. If you get it right, then you can't pull it back up. Okay, we're gonna get these cables and get them back in there. All right, I guess it's the right size. There we go, get all of that clicked back in. Get these things off me. Okay. If you want, you can reattach this little thing, but it's not really needed, so I'm just gonna put it right here, just so it's there. Okay. Just gonna attach this and slide it back over. It's not really doing anything, so I'm just leaving it loose in there. Okay, now we got the floppy drive. We're gonna go ahead and slide this back in. Okay, so for the floppy drive, make sure you don't trap the CD drive power connector, all right? For the floppy drive, you drop it in. Make sure that screw goes into that hole there, and then slide it over. There we go. You'll hear it click into place. This cable's a little bit bent. Hopefully it's okay. I don't know if they use the floppy drive much, but there we go. All right. Oops, I trapped the orange cable under there, so I'm going to have to take that back out. Ow. Okay, come on, floppy drive. Let's come back out. Get that back out. 
I need to get this orange cable out of the way. There we go. Now we can drop that back in, slide that back over. Okay, so let's hide that back down there. All right, floppy drive connector data cable reconnected and power cable reconnected. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing, drop that into place. It's hard to tell where this one lines up, but just try and get it lined up right. Slide it over. Hopefully we got it right, there we go. And it clicked into place. We're not using this connector, I'm not sure what that's for. All right, Ow. but that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others, consider donating. Now with my broken clavicle, work is a lot harder and medical bills and stuff. But yeah, let's slide this cover back in, bottom first, slowly drop it into place, take it down, and that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's see if I can grab my phone. Oh, bye.